Hi everyone, welcome to Newberry College and the BSRT program. My name is Alan Dunphy and this is just a quick overview of some important information about the college as well as faculty, contact information, and more about who I am and some of my interests and contact information. Uh, as you can see on this slide, uh, there are a couple of pictures there. Uh, you might not have heard of Newberry College before, but it is a a college that is very uh, rich in history. Uh, it has been part of South Carolina for a very, very long time. Uh, it was uh, founded and chartered back around 1850s and 56. Um, it has a strong uh, tie to the Lutheran Church and uh, it is a sax accredited uh, institution, um, which means it's quality education as well as uh, it is a Division II school, which um, has a football team, basketball team, baseball, lacrosse. Uh, it has all of the uh, traditional things that you might find at a college or a university. Um, but this is what we call home for our BSRT program, and that is uh, due in part to the hard work and uh, dedication of Dr. Allawine um, starting the BSRT program at Newberry College. Uh, but a little bit further on, uh, you can see there, um, there is Dr. Allawine, and he is the chair and faculty member too. Uh, his, his telephone number and his email address. Um, there's my picture, there's my telephone number, my email address, and there's my cell number. Um, I'd ask you if you use my cell just to go ahead and send me a text. Uh, I don't always answer telephone calls on my cell phone, but I will answer a text just if you will make sure that you put your name in uh, your text message to me and briefly tell me what's going on and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Next, um, Dr. Allawine and I, we both have offices that are located on campus. And Dr. Allawine is there Monday through Friday and we are, our offices are located in Keller Hall and this is a picture of Keller Hall here. And when you go through this door here, which opens up at 7.30 in the morning, this office right here, the second one on the left hand side, is Dr. Allawine's office. And if you go up the staircase over here and go down the hall, right above Dr. Allawine's office is my office, number 205. I plan to be uh, on campus uh, because I do teach a couple of classes uh, for traditional students, but I will be there um, on, as my, for my posted hours. So please check my uh, the course syllabus for my posted hours. Um, there's a picture of me. Uh, I have been married for 31 years. My wife's a registered dietitian. Uh, I have five adult children, and yes, we are a house divided. We've had two students, two, two of our children graduate, one from USC, one from Clemson. And we have two in college right now, one at USC, one at Clemson. And one is going back to school. Um, I have called home Florence, South Carolina home for the last 25 years. Prior to that, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I did go to school here in South Carolina, and uh, when I came down here for school, it was just wonderful. Um, my interests and hobbies, of course, family, I uh, love music, listening, um, drawing, outdoors, exercise, fishing, hunting, anything to kind of do with the outdoors. Um, Experience-wise, education, I have an associate degree, which I earned from Piedmont Technical College, and Greenwood, South Carolina, way back when, and I have a Bachelor of Arts in concentration in uh, math and science from Thomas Edison University, and a master's degree in education from Liberty University. I've got 30 plus years of uh, experience with respiratory care, I have my CRT and RRT, and I've also earned the following MBRC specialty credentials, uh, the neonatal pediatric uh, specialty certification, MPS, the CPFT, Certification Pulmonary Function Testing, and the ACCS, Adult Critical Care Specialist Credentials, which is really important because one of the things that Dr. Allawine has wanted for our program was to ensure that uh, we were covering the required information so that students who graduate from our program will be equipped um, to, uh, or have had the information uh, reviewed with them that is part of the MBRC uh, 
matrix for taking the ACCS uh, exam. Professionally speaking, I've got about 15 years teaching experience. I've uh, taught both at the associate degree and baccalaureate degree level uh, respiratory programs. I've been a program director for uh, associate degree level and also the DC director for clinical education. Uh, I have been a NIOSH certified um, spirometry uh, trainer, with, that is for, like with the CDC, doing um, teaching those in probably the occupational health setting who are doing screening, not full pulmonary function tests, that needs to be done by a therapist. But uh, for those who are screening out in the field to make sure that they're following current ATS standards. Uh, my clinical work, uh, probably the first eight, nine years of my uh, professional experience was in the clinical setting, uh, patient, direct patient care, adult floor, ICU. Um, I also worked in a cystic fibrosis clinic, uh, children's hospital, uh, I did children's hospital floor care, uh, NICU and PICU uh, care, and also uh, I was a transport therapist. Um, after the eight, nine years, I ended up becoming a respiratory supervisor then assistant director for respiratory care at uh, Children's Hospital, and then after that, director for uh, electronic diagnostics, vascular ultrasound, and uh, polysomnography or sleep labs. Uh, I've been very involved with the SCSRC for many years. Um, I've been a board member, I've been the chair for the scholarship committee, and also chaired for the student symposium, which I was doing last year, which got canceled. Uh, due to COVID. I've also been a member of LOR, South Carolina Labor and Licensing Review uh, Regulatory Board, and it's for uh, respiratory care as a committee member. I've been doing that for probably about five years now. Um, both the SCSRC and LOR, Dr. Alaline and I have been uh, working together. He has been definitely more uh, in the public eye uh, with regards to those uh, professional organizations and uh, I have helped and assisted with him um, and looking forward to continuing to do that here in the state of South Carolina. But that's kind of my background in respiratory care, uh, my educational background and something about me with regards to my personal um, interest in my uh, family and what I like to do. Um, next is getting started. Uh, I would tell you that it's very important for you to make sure that you check your email. That'll be your first name, dot last name, at newberry.edu. You'll be receiving an invitation to attend a Teams meeting. Teams meeting is uh, almost like a Zoom meeting. Um, it'll be 30, 45 minutes long for that one. And uh, it's going to help you get a good, strong foundation in the very beginning of how to navigate what needs to be done with regards to our um, BSRT program. It'll complement what you're doing with your uh, college life class. Um, additionally, we need you to make sure that you have logged into uh, Wolfden and you've completed the course acknowledgement as soon as possible and uh, went ahead and done a post uh, just telling us a little bit about who you are and some of your interests and complete that little questionnaire at the bottom um, asking you for some contact information that we want to make sure that we can get a hold of you. Uh, I want to welcome you again to our program, to Newberry College, and to uh, remind you that um, Newberry College is a, uh, uh, a traditional college with you know, on-campus housing, uh, football team, basketball team, baseball team, um, lots of resources, and you now are part of our family. Uh, as an online student, you have access to many of those same resources that the traditional uh, in-person student has. So uh, make sure you get a chance to take a look at that at um, newberry.edu and look at the website. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Welcome again, and I look forward to seeing you in Wolfden.